First, we'll add the gray key device to our list of available hardware imagers. To do this, we'll navigate to the Configuration tab in Automate, then Hardware Imagers to configure the use of our gray key. In order for this to work, the gray key will need to be connected to the same network as Automate. We'll then select the gray key as the imager type and give it a nickname. Lastly, you'll need to enter either the host name or IP information to connect the gray key to Automate. I'll navigate back to the Configuration tab, then select Workflows, where we can create or edit a workflow to include our gray key. This workflow will be specific to iOS devices. We'll quickly designate an output path for these cases, and then move into the Workflow Configurator. Here you can see we start with the gray key, then move to Axiom Process, where we'll need to confirm the source type and platform. This will help the Axiom parsing engine parse for the right artifacts with this image. Lastly, we'll designate that we want the results of this case exported to an Axiom portable case. Now that we've configured our workflow, let's create a case. We'll enter our case number, find our evidence source, and select our gray key iOS workflow. We'll select the image we want, and also select the keychain so we can automatically decrypt application data from the device. We'll give this image an evidence number, confirm our output path for our case, and then hit Add Evidence Source. Lastly, we'll go ahead and kick this case off and automate. As you can see back on the dashboard, our new case is now in progress. And there you have it, an automated end-to-end -end iOS workflow with GrayKey and Magnet Automate.